Um, Hello? Hello. Hello. Hey. Gamers. Man's even check if we're ready. Wow. I did. I put my thumbs up. I'll be responding. So I said, "Fuck it." I'm, I'm going in. Right oh, now. I wasn't uh, looking. Because imagine if you were saying something really messed up, like um, Dutch smells gone. What the fuck, dude? You gotta relax, man. It's messed I'm up. It's heckin' fricked up, and I don't appreciate it. I apologize. Um, I fucking don't. Don't fucking lie to do me. I don't know. mean it. I meant to say something more harsh, but we're like on air. Like half of that sentence, dude. I, fuck knows what you said. I'll be honest. I'm like normal code thing, right? Yeah, exactly. Good. It's um, like it's typing. But hello, it's Thursday, yeah, which means it's Discourse Day. We're going to be uh, talking about the campaign. We're going to be talking about characters. We're going to be talking about some other stuff. It's going to be just a, like, like an hour or so of just being nerds, talking about nerdy D&D game because we love, we, we stand. But before we uh, do that, uh, I would like to announce that this weekend on Saturday, Charity Select uh fall charity select starts uh, we're gonna be raising money for uh special effects uh we're gonna be doing a lot of cool things there's a bunch of incentives that are being uh being that are that are set across the community it's gonna be a good ass fucking time uh we'll be running some some special charity stuff on this channel as well i know that i'm doing a follow-up to last uh charity fundraisers witcher one shot with the same cast of characters hopefully everyone can make it uh so fun. far it looks good uh, and uh, there's probably going to be some other D&D stuff ran on this channel as well. Um, yeah, anyone else have anything that they really want to announce? Because uh, that's really all I have. Charity! Pog! Do you guys have any uh, uh I, ha I have to re-watch the original Witcher one-shot to find out what the fuck my accent was for my original character. I think you were like, uh... I, I, was, I, was, kinda... I was either, uh, or I went German. I can never remember which one. No, I don't think you, went, no, one you, didn't, you didn't go German. You were, you I were didn't very, do what this you time? Were, you were very, uh... Oh, I went, I went Northern. I went, Wogan? He's Wogan! Yeah, I remember yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> but he had a German name, because his name was Wilhelm. And that's what that's what confused right, me. I was like, what right, the, okay, I was like, what okay, did okay. I do? I was like, what did I do? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so now I have the pleasure of having to think of another reason why the fuck Schools of Witchers would collaborate. But I guess now that it's happened before, it's a little easier to be like, oh yeah, you know, we've, we've done this before, we know each other a little bit, blah blah blah, whatever. So, oh yeah, very true. It's gonna be a good time. I have I have some ideas of of some big Witcher baddies that I want to toss uh, against you. So, um, nice. yeah, it's gonna man be has to really think: do we level up or get any more items? Smiley face. Yeah, I have to look at that. But I, I have time. I have time for that. True. Locally, uh, OG, anything you wanna? Uh, nope. Fair enough. I'm uh, I've, I've nothing to nothing to say because I don't do much. So it's fair. That's Want fair. There you go. Oh, she has no announcements. <laughs> that's, that's, announcement. uh, that's an announcement in and of its own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Uh, well, in that case, uh, let me recap what we did last session before we get into this. Uh, last we left off, uh, the party uh, survived their encounter with a third and final omen, um, which all, after destroying this this giant, larger than life rock. That somehow seemed to have been some kind of water-based creature, based on the fact that when struck with 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 weaponry or or spells, instead of bleeding, it it seems to be it seemed to be leaking water. Uh, and after that, an avatar of uh, Deep Sashilas, one of the uh, water-based deities, um, appeared and stated that all the omens were a test. And you passed. Uh, he knew that. Just, they're on a path that's going to cross ways with uh, with with the the sea bitch, aka Umberly, and uh, wanted to see if you were worthy or, or even had a chance of succeeding. And uh, at the same time, are you worthy of his blessing? Which you now are. You got rewarded with a nice little pin in the shape of a dolphin, uh, which uh, gives you a very, pretty significant stat buff for the next week to use uh, against. Uh, the, the the many creatures and shit you're gonna find when you're uh, when you face off with uh, not certainly with Umberly so but with her it. undead champion and whatever else re slithers around in that fucking lair of theirs. You also made it to the Uncharted Islands, uh, which you are believe you believe to be housing Umberly Strident. Uh, the islands uh, mainly very bare not much not much in the in in, in terms of of uh, flora but uh, 
you know, some rocks, a large hill with a big waterfall coming off, and a settlement, a, a small village made from a shipwreck. Um, where the crew that survived said shipwreck uh, now make home, and where they've claimed to have been for about two, maybe three winters. Um, so they've been there for a while. Uh, after being introduced to their crew, their leader, uh, talk to you, and after you guys kind of very quickly off the bat waved an opportunity for them to get the fuck off the island uh, in their face, he decided to drop the act and let you guys in on uh, the only reason that they're alive and, and survived for so long is because they struck a deal with uh, Umberly and her minions to inform them whenever people arrive on this island, kind of being their scouts, I suppose, being their their watch post, um, which they admitted to you, and they told you that um, you're not supposed to leave the village. They're supposed to get uh, the word to the people of Umberly that you are here and you're to be arrested and taken away. But with that knowledge in mind, that does present you with a, a unique way in. Now that you know that that's going to happen, you'll be inside their base. You have people that can go invisible. You have people that can do all sorts of shit to kind of work around that. So, um... Next session should be a fucking banger. Like, Hell so, yeah. it's going to be interesting. Hell yeah. So that's pretty much what, uh, what we did last Sunday. Um, normally, we start off discourse with uh, a tweet of the week, right? But I kind of wanted to replace that segment this week because, um, you know, there's a lot of 1D&D &D stuff going around on Twitter and, and uh, there's some material out there for playtesting. Uh, and the most recent thing that they released for playtesting was uh, classes. And I wanted to kind of just highlight uh, something they call expert classes. They, they've divvied up the classes in D&D in four categories now. Uh, expert classes, mages, priests, and warriors. They um, characterize experts by uh, polymaths who have the expertise feature uh, and elements of other classes. So the experts, expert classes are bard, ranger, rogue, but also, not in this document, but also uh, artificer are also considered expert classes. They're just not included in this document. Um, so I want to just put, kind of glance over and, and just kind of see some of the changes because, um, I don't know, it seems like this seems like the platform to do that kind of thing, right? Give our oh, thoughts yeah. uh, on all that. Um, I start off with, uh, with Bard, and one of the biggest changes right off the bat that I want to talk about with Bard is uh, how their inspiration works in 1D&D. &D. New, now currently uh, in, in current, new, <laughs> in current D&D, &D, 5e. Um, it's, it's a Dutch word for now. I just kind of swapped the Dutch for, for no reason at all. Um, Bardic Inspiration is a bonus action. You can just chuck Inspiration willy-nilly. Uh, but in 1D&D, &D, Bardic Inspiration is going to be a reaction, which changes it a lot, because that essentially means that if, you say, you're a College of Lore Bard, you're going to have to choose every round. Do I want a cutting word? Do I want to inspire? Which is a pretty big fucking... Mm. It's a big change. Uh, I don't dislike it. I don't like it. I'm very much on the uh, on the side of. I have no idea how this is gonna like actually make them better or worse. You know what I mean? I I, 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 I kind of see. Uh, I think this is one of the problems I have when they sort of doing these segments releases with characters, is we don't see we haven't seen any of the subclasses fully, mm -hmm. right? And we've just seen sort of base class type, like. That doesn't give us any information about stuff like college law. How is that now changing? Yeah, right. Is is that now going to be almost the other way around? Where like cutting words? Okay, be a cool. Section. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Like, is cutting yeah. words going to be a bonus section, or is cutting words going to be something else you can do on a reaction as well as like as well as cutting words? You can also do this. Is reaction going to be more than yeah. one thing now? Will you be able to do multiple reactions in a turn as you level up? Is it going to be like based on proficiency bonus, maybe? You know. Yeah. That could be a thing, that proficiency bonus equals, you know. But, I don't know. It It's always so weird to see, like, I like what they're doing. I like mm -hmm. this sort of, like, you know, majors, orders, and expertise classes. It very much makes it feel like a more of an RPG, I guess. Because it's now, like, I know it's both good and bad. Like, it simplifies it, but I also feel like it forces you to play to type, which I dislike. I like playing against type, you know, like, not all paladins are gonna be tanky, you know? You can play a medium armored or, like, small armored paladin. You can play, you know, he doesn't have to be your frontliner and stuff like that. I think 
mm -hmm. how they've done this is kind of making archetypes sort of set. Like, yeah, I, know, I hope. Yeah, I see that. Personally, obviously, you probably still can like play against type, but I feel like it's almost forcing it more. And I think there's gonna be a lot of people being like, "But you're supposed to be a warrior. Why are you playing it like this?" It's like, fuck you. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about them. Kind of like, I get it. I I, I get it. It's for like people that maybe it's for like people that are that are new to D and D, right? They yeah, kind of like, they, it they simplifies give them it. A, a frame of mind of like, oh, mages, and then you have sorcerer, warlock, wizard. Oh, uh, priests, cleric, druid, paladin. Priests, I guess, healers. I suppose. I think I guess that's, that's why exactly they're called what I'm saying. It's saying yeah. it's like. Damage is saying like magic damage dealers, magic healers. They describe it as stewards of divine or primal magic, focusing on healing. So yeah, focusing yeah. on healing, utility, and defense. Which but I guess can, I can get behind. Yeah. You can play a cleric that it doesn't heal. You know, cleric has so much in its band that's yeah, more. Yeah, I feel like healing. this is for us veterans, right? Uh, we know exactly how you can play classes and make them interesting and not f fit the mold that, that Wizards of the Coast gives you. But I feel like, and I feel like with 1D&D &D in general, they mm. are making it more noob-friendly by making it very clear what the intended use and yeah. role is. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like, I... It, I feel, I feel like it's more of an out-of-the-box spirit where you can just, this is set rules and you just play according to that and then it works. Where right yeah. now you have like if you're a newbie and you try to go to like D&D Beyond, you're trying to make a character, you have to think a lot more. I feel like with one D&D, it's more like here, play. And there's a, a little, a little bit less thinking, so it's, it's easier to step in mm -hmm. for for new people. Yeah, it, it lowers that like threshold, I guess. Uh, but other than that. For for me personally, I'm never gonna tell people. Well, you're playing a barbar, or you're playing a, a druid, so you have to be a priest. You have to heal. No, fuck off. No. You wanna fuck yeah, me? I feel yeah. like there will be people who gatekeep it, and I think obviously, like no matter what happens, it will be gatekeeped. Gatekeeped. I just gate. Yeah, gatekeeped. Is it gate kept? The, the gate is being is not kept. Is that not? Maybe both? It's both technically. Both work. That's fair enough, I guess. What was the English language? What the fuck? <laughs> both work. Again, people will still gatekeep it, yes. right? <laughs> D&D um, I mean, is already heavily being gated. Gate yeah. yeah, it's already it's already got gatekeeping is a big problem. Yeah, but I just feel I you just know there's gonna be so many fucking tables that are like you're gonna come with this idea and then someone's gonna have this idea and they're like, well, actually, it says it's a warrior class. So why are you paying them like a uh, expertise class? It's like fuck yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, what I like it. Also, a nice easy to By the way. Mm. Is that each class's twen level twenty feature has been moved to level eighteen, and at level twenty they get something they call an epic boon, whatever the mm. fuck that may mean. But we'll probably get into that. Um, so as far as bards go, right? Mm. Uh, first level they get bardic inspiration, uh, and you can use it in the following ways. And they call it boost a d twenty test. I hate that. I hate that wording. <laughs> Because every it's because all there's no such thing as ability checks or skill one fires or tarot it's all D twenty checks now. Right? I hate That's... that. I hate it. It sucks. <laughs> like it again. It God. makes it simple. It, it is to simplify D and D. That's what it has done. It's yeah. made it easier to understand that if you roll a D twenty, this is what this can affect. But a big thing that I don't. I'm pretty sure mm. bards don't have now. You can heal with your bardic inspiration. Yeah, that's not a thing. Immediately yeah. after another creature within six feet of you that you can see uh, or hear takes damage, you can use your reaction to roll your body inspiration die and restore a number of hit points to the creature. Or hear is huge, by the way. Yeah. So like, like that's pretty big. They 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 made it so the bards can just straight up heal their friends with inspiration dice. That's kind of nuts. By the way, in before there's a lot of debates being like, well, did they technically hear that or did they not? How much sound is it making this room? Yeah, fuck off. Like, fuck you. <laughs> what are the acoustics like? But like that heal is pretty fucking big. And I feel like it's big. Uh, that's a buff. That's a straight up buff. You can choose mm -hmm. whether you want them to boost a D20 test or heal. That's a, that's that's a straight up buff. Huge. It's great. Yeah. Like say, uh, especially in the lower levels, I feel like, mm -hmm. because like at the end of the day, your bardic inspiration die is only going to go up to d12, and that's like late game. So at that point, it's a small heal. But like, say you're you. I mean, d6 is huge at first level. Yeah, like so, like lower level that could save that can save a homie from dying straight up. Like as a reaction. Can... Oh, he goes down. No, he doesn't. You know what I mean? I mean, Boom. straight up like. Think about the Twilight Dome at level one and two. 
that's yeah, a d6 buddy. plus level you mm -hmm. know that is a minimum of three temp hp which at those low levels is like a third of your health in some people for some people yeah it's huge i also um... feel like because it is a reaction it is it is more like a lifesaver than just like oh you well, do some damage because if someone goes down you can use your reaction to like nope like i mean to be fair as well it's great is timing wise obviously you could use your reaction it'd be your turn next you have it back next like the next person someone else gets hit use yeah. it again like how do bard spells work right now with their spell list are they known spells or are they prepared Prepared. i think you get the whole spell list and you prepare spells but you can you think is that is every that works? yeah but every so many levels you get to choose spells from a different spell list so it's a bit of both but you get a set yeah, of spells like... that you can have like, is it, is it like you level up, you learn some spells, or is it like, oh, I can on the fly every day? On the fly, on the fly every day, you can see them pretty is that, sure. Is that what Bard's Yeah, have? but... I, I thought they learned. No, but they have learned spells from different classes. Every so many levels, you can pick spells, I believe. Wait, let me let me fucking check real quick. Hold on. Oh. Quickly, go to D&D Beyond, make a Bard, and, and yeah, see no. what's good. Um, class... Move class. That's a problem. Spell cast. Button show me spell searching cast. Uh, add class. Spells. Say we're level six. Whatever. Add spells. No, you don't prepare. Oh spells. no, it is learned. What the fuck? Why did I think it was? So one D and D, bards yeah. are gonna be moved to spell preparation. Nice. Why do I uh, think it was prepared? Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm pretty sure that's not how they are now. I'm pretty sure it's just it you pick a you at level up, you read pick it. new spells. I must have read it that it got yeah. changed. So bards that. always have color spray, disguise self, prestidigitation, and vicious mockery prepared. Yeah. Always. Always. Uh, an alternative or, or, or no? Wait, no, never mind. That's the four spells they would by default start with. I guess again, that's for people that are like, I don't know spells do. Well, here's a kit for you by default yeah. to default to, uh, or um. You can prepare two for zero level zero spells, can cantrips, I guess. Yeah, cantrips. And two first level spells of your choice. Are they not called cantrips anymore? Are they already called level zero spells. That's so level zero. Yeah, That's so I think dumb. So. Again, God, everything is being simplified. It's being simplified. Because <sighs> level zero doesn't have a spell slot, but it's stupid. Yeah. Any, any, every long rest, you can practice your bardic arts and replace any spell you've prepared for this class. Yeah, they're fully transitioning to. Uh, Spell, spell prep. Who's getting fucked over then? And if it's clerics, I riot. We'll see. I mean, we won't see this time. Right now, we're talking about bards, rogues, and yeah, no. rangers. But the maybe, same maybe next time, you know? We'll, we'll see. Clerics, I riot. Uh, expertise. I mean, we know what that is. Uh, Song of mm -hmm. Restoration. Did they change that at all? Do, do, do. Probably not. I think Wait. A lot, I think. Wait, wait, wait. When you reach certain levels in the class, you can add a specific spell to your Song of Restoration repertoire. Oh. So, second level spell, second level, it's Healing Word. Fourth, you can add Lesser Restoration to your Song of, Song of Restoration. At sixth, it's Mass Healing Word. That's different, isn't it? That's different. Yeah, it used to be your Song of Restoration used to just be, you would uh, get plus healing on hit dice. You'd get like... For every hit dice you use, you got plus a so much more or something shit like that. Yeah, like, but now you can say that, like, add spells to Cast it. spells. That's crazy. That's nuts. Fucking hell. So he um, thinks that wouldn't be cures a short rest, like a poison, for example, because it's like an eight hour or whatever, or like something like that, would mm -hmm. then be... Uh, dude. Yeah, because it's, uh, I'm, I'm reading for the thing, it also says, like... Those are always prepared, and you can replace them when you prepare them. So you you always have those spells. Yeah. Do you think? I swear, Jack of all trades is like a first level thing they get as College of Lore bards. No. Uh, maybe. Because right now uh, it says here you don't get Jack of all trades until level five, which I'm pretty sure. As a bard, a College of Lore bard, you were always Jack of all trades, just always. Yeah. Right. No. Oh, then Jack of all trades is what you always got second level. Yeah. Right. So that's a fifth level thing now. Yeah. So that's. Oh shit! Pretty big shakeup. Uh, sixth level subclass feature, seventh level font of bardic inspiration. Uh, you now regain all your expanded uses of bardic inspiration when you finish a short rest or a long rest. So before then, it's just long rest. Now that's pretty big. I swear, bards has always been long rest, no? Yep. So now you yep, can get him at so. level seven. Yeah. You can get him back at a short rest. That's that's huge. 
That's huge. Which I guess is kind of... Because inspiration is now reactionary, you can throw out inspiration a lot mm -hmm. more and still have a bonus action action on yeah. your turn, right? So I'm guessing they expect the use of inspiration to go up, therefore they'll also... Yeah, that make, makes sense, right? otherwise you are, you're, you're going through them very, very quickly. Yeah, right, that's They're what I was thinking like, as well. Yeah. Makes sense, makes sense though. Uh, magical secrets, that's just extra spells, right, from different spell lists, yep. So choose a spell list, arcane, divine, or primal. So they're simplifying the spell categories as well, by a lot. There's just three spell arcane, lists. It's arcane, divine, divine or, or primal. primal. Yeah. Oh, in uh, addition yeah. to your bardic inspiration, if they roll a one, it doesn't count. Really? Where's that? Where the fuck does that say that is a thing? Um, right above uh, the 8 level feet, it says, In addition, if a creature rolls your bardic inspiration die and gets a one, after any rerolls you might oh, have, that's, that's the use of your bardic inspiration yeah. isn't expanded. So you... What? That's so crazy. if they roll one, that's nuts. you get your uh, inspiration back. That's crazy. The hell? Like you never used it. That's... So if you... F it's crazy. You fuck it up. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. So if 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 you, you get the inspiration and you just you fuck up, they're like, okay, you never got it. But... Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so at level eighteen, superior bardic inspiration, which previously was the level twenty thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, when you roll initiative, you regain two expended uses of your bardic inspiration. So every time you roll initiative, boom, two two inspiration dice back for you to use as a, as a bard. Nice. That's pretty fucking good. <laughs> yeah, level eighteen. Go into every fight with at least two inspiration uses. Uh at level yeah. 18, though, how many fights you... I guess you're probably going to quite a few fights per day, but, like, realistically, you're not going to have that many, like, individual fights. It tends to be, like, one big combat, right? And that's the initiative. Is this huge, like, five-hour fight. Right? Obviously, that's, my, that's in my experience at d d It tends okay. to be, like, now he, one is, initiative. Yeah, but now this is where it gets crazy. Okay. Level 20, you get an epic boon. You yeah. gain the epic boon of luck, feet... Or another epic boon of your choice. And I'm looking through the list of epic boons. Mm -hmm. There is the boon of combat prowess. Uh, when you miss with a melee attack, you can choose to hit instead. Dab. Nice. You can just choose. Can so just basically choose you never to miss. Hit instead. Oh, I is miss. That, oh, no, I so, don't. Is that so many times? Uh, uh, once per long rest. Uh, once per short rest. I was about to fucking say, because you imagine it was like, based on professionally modified, just be like, okay, I, I'd never hit. <laughs> uh, boon of dimensional travel. It just gives you a free range of the Misty Step spell. Um, boon of Fate. Whenever another creature that you can see within 60 feet, if you make an ability check, attack roll, or saving throw, you can roll a d10 and apply it to the result as a bonus or a penalty. Pretty cool. Uh, a boon of Fortitude. Your hit point maximum increases by 40. You know, casual. Uh, boon of High Magic. You gain a 9th level spell slot, if you already have one. So you can just have two 9th level spell slots. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty wild, bro. That's that's, that's pretty wild. wacky, dude. Just an extra that's ninth cool. level spell slot. That's oh, kind of oh. wacky, bro. To be fair, though, how many like D and D campaigns go to level twenty? Not or many. Uh, how about uh, the boon of immortality? You stop aging. You're that's immune to any effect that would do. age you, and you cannot die from old age. That's not just that's just being a druid, right? <laughs> level. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that, dude? Oh, I I just don't grow older anymore now, guys. Sick. Imagine being really old and then getting that. You just stuck at being ancient. <laughs> just stuck in a dream, waking up with a bed back every single day. Right, I, dude. God, that's just the character I want to play. I want to get to level 20 with a character. It's just this old man who kind of wishes for death, and it's like, epic boon. Immortality. Uh, there's a boon <laughs> like, of invincibility. Oh. Uh, when you take damage from any source, you can just reduce the damage to zero. How many times? Uh, Once per short rest. That's pretty big. That's, that's, that's a short rest. That's short rest. It's pretty big. That's God, pretty... Could you fucking imagine you got power word killed and be like, no, no. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. As long as it has oh, a damage does... number. No, I oh, think power word kill is uh, if you're under it... a certain amount of health, then you yeah. die. So that's the only right, one. Yeah, sure, that's yeah, the option. Yes, it, it, I'd say like, but like a disintegrate, like... for instance. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you could just you say. Getting dealt 90 damage. damage by disintegrating, you would have been fucking dusted. Dead. Nope. Nope. Damn. That'd be, that's some cool flavor. But again, it's level 20. Like, yeah. Come on. Uh, Boon of Irresistible Offense is pretty fucking cool. You can bypass the damage distances of any creature. That's huge, That's huge. for level 2. So you're fighting something that like has so many like immunities or... No, it's resistances, right? Not immunities. Uh, resistances, yeah. Yeah, so something's got a lot of resistances. You're just there like... No, it now is now resistant to like non-magical like, non damage. Could you imagine that? You just have this big thing that's non-magical that like, just like a fucking ballista or some shit like you're firing at. 
Like, uh, oh. There's uh, the Boon of Luck, which is just an extra d10 to any ability check, attack, or saving throw you make. Once used, you can only do it again after a short rest, whatever. Magic resistance, uh, advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects, just forever. That's huge. Yeah. That's uh, give that to a fucking barbarian or some shit. Yeah. Fucking Peerless incredible. aim. Uh, you can give yourself a plus 20 bonus to a range attack roll you make once per short rest. <laughs> so basically it's guaranteed to hit. For Pretty much. much. Uh, boon of perfect health. You are immune to all diseases and poisons. You have advantage on constitution saving throws forever. Uh, boon of planar travel. Once you gain this boon, choose a plane of existence other than the material plane. You can now use your action to cast plane shift with no components or spell slot required, targeting yourself only and travel to the chosen plane. Oh, and and to back to the material say. plane. I was about to fucking say, if you could just use it on like a group of just you. No, just yourself. That's pretty, that, that, that's, that's pretty all right. That's pretty all cool, the, all though, the yeah. late level bad guys are going to have that boon, guys. Just want you guys to know. All the late level bad guys are going to have that. Oh my god, they really are. Because like, <laughs> they just go, oh, I'm going to lose. Nope. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> what level does it cost at? Uh, because surely it can be counter spell because it's a spell, right? It just says plane shift. So probably just basic level, right? So whatever level it is. Eight, seven, eight. No, it's not that high. I don't think. Oh, okay. It, you're probably I think right. Plane shift might be like fifth level. Oh, I just feel like it's high. I feel like it's because you don't encounter it until such a high level. Oh no, it's seventh level. Never mind. I thought it was lower. Seven, seven level. No. Seven level. Um, well, it makes sense at 7 because you can take up to 8 other people, so... Uh, oh, dude, this is pretty good. Boon of quick casting. Mm -hmm. Choose one of your spells of first through third level that have a casting time of an action, and it's now a bonus action forever. Oh, I mean, that's huge. That's fucking huge. <laughs> like, damn. I'm trying to think of, like, what wacky shit you could do for first to the... Fucking counter spell is a huge one, but it's a reaction anyway, so yeah. we won't do that. But, like... The fuck is first or third? Oh my god, fireball is a bonus action. Uh, Boon of recovery. Uh, use bonus action to regain half of your maximum hit points. It's pretty big. Once per uh, long rest, but still, that's yeah, a there's fucking so many huge. good, so many great ones for barbarian man. Just like, uh, boon of skill proficiency just gives you proficiency in all skills. It's <laughs> pretty fucking good. Uh, bonus speed increases your walking speed by 30 feet. Um, and you can use Worst bonus, one. bonus action to dash or disengage. Oh, never mind. Okay, that, that makes it all right. But you know what? It's just like, just to have 30 feet. It's like, oh, great. 60 feet of movement. Ooh. <laughs> uh, choose a spell recall. You can cast any spell that you know or have prepared without expending a spell slot. Uh, but, you know, only once and then it's a long rest kind of deal. But that's pretty fucking good. Just without expending a spell slot. Oh, ninth level spell. <laughs> Use my boon. Uh, Stab. It's pretty crazy. Good, huh? We might as well get the, the two spell slot one, right? Shall we? Yeah. Like the action of the spell slot. I, f I feel like this one is. Well, it depends because if you are like, oh, I don't need any other spells for my level, I just have the one I want. True. You can take this one instead. Dude. So if like, oh, I want two, you take the other one. True. Boon of true sight. You just have true sight to up to sixty feet now. It's good luck having people sneak up on you. Um. Yeah, it's pretty. That like that these some of these boons are fucking insane. Oh my god! I just sorry thinking about true sight. I just saw like I heard the nuttiest thing about true sight. Yeah. And it's how ridiculous. So even if something has true sight, mm -hmm. if you're invisible, you still have advantage on the attack. Even though you're visible to them. Yeah. That's not gonna fly if that ever happens in our campaign, bro. Straight, straight up, Jeremy Crawford says. If invisible, you have advantage on the attack, regardless of anything else. If well, you I are... disagree with Jamie Crawford. Sorry. Yeah, I know. It's so <laughs> fucking. So he's just like, and he said it like he said it like a, you know when he does like his Twitter post to reply to people, and he fucking like doubled down to like a panel. <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? You, what the fuck? Is, <laughs> because sorry. you have the like invisible condition, right? <laughs> I, dis like... I disagree. I disagree. I know, it's so fucking yeah. stupid. It's so funny though. It's like. Yeah. What? And it's funny as well, or interesting, I'm looking at like the level up chart for Bard, and every level it comes mm. with like recommended spells. So like, oh, at fifth level, you get sense. third level spells, uh, these are the ones that we choose for you, haste and tongues. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's... It's just, again, like, it makes it very easy a, for new players. A lot of these things yeah. I quite like, and I think it's good quality of life. I just feel like in these more experienced tables, it it's gonna create a lot of like... I know thing but what'd be good actually what i can't wait to see is what people 
disagree with and then make their own versions of saying, oh, this is True. like... True, yeah. That'd so there'd probably be like... Yeah. And maybe in later editions of one D and D, you know, later supplements, they have like different lists you can take once they introduce these, like mm -hmm. you know, um, subclasses. Maybe so each subclass has its own, like, yeah, preferred maybe. or recommended thing. So that's gonna be quite cool. But I, I can't yeah. wait to see what the community makes in, yeah, as so, their like recommended yeah. guide. So this also included the the Call of Lord subclass. Cutting words is the exact same as it was. Yeah, it's uh say. you get a third le you know a third level so with a yeah, reaction a 60 feet of you build a check or attack roll use your reaction to expend one of your dice blah blah, blah. same shit same shit mm -hmm. uh sixth level they get cutting inspiration uh oh, which oh they just get advantage on your bardic inspiration rolls forever at sixth level bard uh, through your studies and your cunning, you've learned to inspire others exceptionally well. When any creature rolls your bardic inspiration die, that creature can roll the die twice and use the high of two rolls. So they just get advantage on their inspiration That's rolls. That's cool. Oh, damn. That's, That's pretty fucking nutty. They buffed the fuck out of college. Was Lord that the same for, was so, that the same for fucking that, cutting words? Uh, so, that, so that also goes for healing then? Yeah. No. So then it, you also it, heal them. The... Yeah, yes. Well, no. Yeah. Is yes. The use of your bardic inspiration dice? Or you also use your bardic, bardic inspiration for... Yeah. When Healing. any creature rolls your bardic inspiration die, does that imply that you yourself also? You are a creature. Yeah, that's when true. any creature yeah. rolls, you are. I a guess creature. so. Yeah, no, I guess so. If the only thing that throws me is because it says, it specifically mentions inspiring others. As, you know what I mean? Oh, then maybe not then. But then again, cutting words uses inspiration dice. So I guess that's also a form of inspir inspiring. So like, I don't know. I, words is written. Yes. That's... Everything. Yeah. Words yeah. is written. So. We Ooh. might see that changed after it's done being playtested, but as for now, words is written, yeah. yeah, anything that has to do with Bardic Inspiration, dice, roll twice, take oh. the highest. Uh, improved Cutting Words at 10th level makes Cutting Words just deal Psychic Damage as well. Uh, equal to the number rolled in your Inspiration die plus your Charisma modifier, it's just a little something, something. And then Peerless Skill, that's already, already be, that was already a thing, right? Peerless Skill, I'm mm. pretty sure. Yeah, sure. Make an ability check and you fail, you can expend one use of the Bark Inspiration, roll a die, add the number to the ability Yeah, it's basically you can inspire yeah. yourself. Yeah, it, so. it might be just how I'm reading this, right? But mm -hmm. I'm, I'm reading for them with cutting words. It says you can deal, so does that mean it is a choice? I guess, because if you it want doesn't to, like, say you deal, if you want to, like, cutting words deal. one of your friends because of a meme or a band, you don't want to fucking, like, hurt him, I guess, right? Maybe yeah. that's... Like say yeah, or... you're at, say, there's there's role play stuff right say you're at like a, a fucking yeah. two of your boys are doing a fucking arm wrestling competition and you want to just like kind of fuck with one of them and make them lose you know what I mean you don't want to fucking give them splitting headache at the same time right I guess no it's just the, the way they are wording yeah so I guess I yeah like a lot you of choose, it is like you don't have to for, yeah you don't have to I guess not true uh, the only thing about peerless skill is uh, is that I guess the new thing is that if the check still fails the bardic inspiration isn't expended which. That's pretty cool, I guess. So that was Bard, for now. Uh, a lot of changes. Dude, Bard... I feel like Bard... Overall, I feel like Bard got better. Like, with abilities and stuff, I feel like overall, Bard got better. Mm -hmm. I feel like the whole making um, Bard of Inspiration a um, reaction and then all the rules that connect to that make it yeah. very, very good. Yeah. Uh, Ranger... Um, Ranger is still Save it for next time, because it's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I guess we can do like a class each time or something, yeah. Exactly. So that was Bard. Oh, cause I feel like overall... Releases. Overall, Bard got better. Bard. I think so, yeah. So I wasn't sure Eddie about, the, I wasn't sure about the, the reaction thing, now that I've read the entire thing properly, I'm like, okay. Yeah, never mind. Boons, yeah. sound... I'd be interested to see what they do with feats, because they're going to be some fucking crazy combinations with boons yeah, to feats true. now. Can't wait to do like a level 20 fucking Battle Royale and just jump into boons, you know what I mean? And just yeah, see like, like oh, you'll get a boon yeah. and just fucking see what happens. <laughs> That's crazy. That's wild. Uh, okay. Let's move on to some questions, shall we? Um, I don't have any questions myself for you lot, but uh, we have uh, some questions submitted to the Discord by uh, Ethaniel. Um, you can, you'll demand. Couple of them. Uh, for Quag. Oh, it's me. Quig, quig. How's the last one feeling after uh, a few days of rest and relaxation, in quotations? 
um not rested or relaxed in any way not it was not? all not not because he just hasn't rested he's not he's not really had much like him saying rest and relaxation training at the start is more just him coping to cool. not have a breakdown it's more like he did that wall after having a breakdown he's like i'm just gonna pretend everything's okay but really oh god <laughs> just nobody's buying it by the way oh no, he knows. He, no, he nobody's buying well it well aware. <laughs> he's well aware well aware uh, well aware i mean like little yeah. sort of pull behind the gun because the it is it's sort of one of the reasons why he was so against the idea of getting imprisoned mm -hmm. and caught was because we have just he's literally just dealt with people having just been imprisoned and it's like still quite raw for him <laughs> and he's there like I'd rather not get chained up, you know what I mean? Like, I've just had an experience where I've seen a bunch of people fucking chained up and tortured. I'm good. <laughs> not, not top of the list. <laughs> like, that just instantly, like, is that, like, reminder of, like, hey, you remember that horrific shit you saw? <laughs> Guess what, buddy? Oh, that's the worst that could he happen. Will... I mean, it's not like what's the worst that could happen to him, it's just the more, like, getting the you know the mm. the sort of the fucking, from the, it, the, the flashbacks yeah yeah the fucking the flashback of like oh yeah i saw that oh yeah that's fucked you know but he'll never like admit that to anyone but he's way too proud for his own good man yeah but it's <laughs> kind of this that's kind of him yeah, to the no, core though you, you do it it's really his well, core but, you know, i'm just you know the lazarin is just way too proud for his own good and like it's yeah. it, it's biting him in the ass you know? I feel like he will learn, but he also seems like the type who never will learn. And, like, yeah. he'll be like, oh, I should open up more. He'll open up, like, twice and be, like, less proud and take the fall. And then he'll just be like, no, no, I've got to be. I've, I've got to. Got to stand stoic. Yeah. Got to stand stoic because he's just there, like, dying. <laughs> this next question, by the way, is it's yeah. funny because I didn't okay. realize that this was Brooks's reasoning. But, okay, pop off, I guess. Uh, does Elazarin get that Brooks is fucking with him to distract him and make him feel involved with the group, or does he just think that Brooks is an asshole? I feel like this is such a BS question. I feel like this is just Brooks is being a dickhead, and Ethan is just trying to fucking like cover up the fact that Brooks is a dickhead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's almost like in the weird fucked up world that is our group of fuckwits, right? Or yes. the diplomats, or whatever we we're calling ourselves. Um... And Lantern almost sees it as almost like Brooks is like, asks seeking help. <laughs> and <laughs> it's almost this like, it's his sort of call of like, Brooks is troubled. And it's just, you know, like a kid that lashes out. He's you know what I mean? It's that, like, you know what I mean? Like he's there like, I'm upset at something. And I'm just going to take it out on Lantern because he's the one that I know can take it the best. And Lantern doesn't really see it as... <clears throat> Like, yeah, Brooks is a dickhead, but that's Brooks, right? It's He's one of those people who, like, I love it. Like, this guy's my great friend. He's a cunt, but he's one of my best friends. You know what I mean? Like, he just sort of gets away with shit because it's him. Mm -hmm. You know, you're thinking, if he wasn't my mate, I'd fucking hate him. You know what I mean? But... And that's when also... He doesn't, definitely doesn't see it as, like, Brooks trying to keep it included and all that. He's just like, cool, I guess this is a thing now. <laughs> Rather than like that, but that's more because Elastra just doesn't feel like he needs the help. Because he's yeah. Does Elastra he's... fully not see that he needs the help, or is he just like he knows, but he just doesn't want to? You know what I mean? Well, I would pop kettle. You know, it's the same yeah. thing. No, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, no, 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 no. It's I know. Not, it's, no, it's not. It's I know. Not. It, if it, Elastra deep down knows that he he's troubled yeah. and needs help, that's that's a big difference from Elastra just being oblivious yeah. to the fact that he needs help. You know what I mean? He knows he probably should go and get help, but he's also like, he wants to see if he can do it by himself, and more like saying, "No, I can," because like, shit's got you know there there are bigger things than him at the moment, which with Elastra can accept. And, like, yes, he's too proud, and he's very proud, but he's also know, like, hey, in the grand scheme of things, me being how I am at the moment is fine, because, mm. you know, we are currently trying to fucking d fight a god, or fight, like, a god's champion, or we... There is all this elemental shit going on in the background. Cool, fantastic. That's that's the big sort of burner we should be worrying about. Why don't worry about me right now? We'll deal with that later. That can always be done later. This is the happening now. Whatever's going with me, I can deal with later. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. 
uh, OSG. Yeah. Is Kai surprised with how the group reacted to his prank? Not really. <laughs> except for Brooks. Because... I feel like like Kai has been around the group as long and long enough where he knows that Brooks is also likes to prank. But, uh, but Kai now understood he likes pranks as long as he's in on them. If he isn't in on them, so a bit hypocritical. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know exactly because because so, yeah, Brooks really like got pissed. Like he was really pissy, and yeah. like, that surprised me as well. I was like, oh, I didn't expect. Brooks to fucking react this way. Yeah, we so aren't. that I did, I did not expect. So I feel like that that's the um, the standard. I feel like the rest, kind of how I thought they would react to it. Yeah. What's great about Kai's prank is that's the type of thing a Lazar would have done in retaliation to Brooks's like shenanigans, in the sense of like something so grand and like off kilter that it's like fucked up. You know <laughs> what I mean? It's so like, oh, I just faked my own death for the lols. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, a Lazarus would disappear for like a week. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> taken, like, taken in the night. You see, like, this letter from the from the night the webs on the table, yeah. and he would have just gone, like, just Dude, left town for a week does that, and come bro. back, and just come back, right, like a week later. You and know, we'll have we'll have you, Koiba, actually like come back for the next yeah. like two sessions as like yeah. someone else character to really sell yeah, it. <laughs> like literally. Yeah. It'd just be like a Lazarus in disguise or some shit, right? Like, or some shit, you know? It'd be like, like really fucked up. Nah. We'd come back and I like nothing happened. He'd be like, "Got you, wait!" And it was like, "What the <laughs> fuck is your problem?" <laughs> and who like, cast sending, being like, "Guys, help! I don't know where I am." Dude, that's like, so fucked. But you know what I mean? Like, that's the type of prank. Because a Lazarus would be like, "Fuck it, uh, you've done like twenty small pranks to me, so I get to do one massive one." <laughs> If you ever get the chance to listen to Travis Winningham talking about what he did for Troy Baker's um, stag do, excellent sort of prank of just like, if and like of getting like kidnapped and shit and like being fucking held hostage by like something else that like what everyone was host and yes he did and he, like they open up the van door and he goes welcome to your stag do motherfucker <laughs> it's a real like honestly it's that type of level That's it's so amazing. fucking good what the hell. God. Uh, I felt, I felt the, the rest all reacted as, you know, expected. I thought, I, was it was I thought it was a good one. You know, just my input. Good one. Good job. Good. It was, I, know, I, know, no, I know Bell really liked it when I uh, sent her the DM. Dude, the I fact like that chaos. Everyone, yes. The <laughs> fact that no one believed that it, that it wasn't Kess's ideas, that just made yeah, it fucking funny. That made it even funnier. Out, out of character, I loved it. In character, oh, you can't. <laughs> nah, Brooks is being hypocritical, Bean. You stop defending yourself and Twitch yeah. and eat pizza with, with, the, with your friends, you fucking pussy. Um, last time, uh, Ethan asked about Kai's impressions of the party. Uh, not a, mm -hmm. both, uh, both you, OSG, and Kai have had some more time in the group. Um, how does Kai feel about the group dynamics? Does he think there are any clear groups or dynamics, or is it any more? Is it more of like a, uh, or any tensions like trying for leadership or attention? No, I think Kai is like there are there, there are some clear uh, group dynamics going on. You have like the the little the little group in the group, basically the little groups in the group. Um, but I think he figured that one out quite quickly, just because you can very, very quickly tell who hangs out with each other. It's a, a big group, but you always have like smaller circles. Kes and I can, you know, yeah, there's always a, a circle in a circle. Yeah. Um, so I feel like, like with that, he um, was already there. I think he is like. Seeing like the the smaller circles disappear a little bit, where they um they swap a little bit more, because I feel like um, I feel a lot of things like when Kai joined, it was mostly Kess and Daigon doing stuff together, and, and Brooks kind of tacked along a little bit, and he's now more with going around Daigon and stuff. So I feel like he kind of got sucked into into that group. Mm -hmm. Um. 
Yeah, I, th I think out of all, I see things like. I let. Uh, this is the more, more how I think how, how Kai sees things in the group. I feel like there are people that are in the group because they need a group around them. Even though they don't want to say they need other people, but I feel like, well, the last friend one is. Feels like one of the person who wants to be like, mm hmm, mm hmm, but kind of needs like, I need people. Help. The um, last room? No. 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 Surely no. Not. So that, and I feel like, I, I think he, out of all of it, thinks like uh, Devian could be like, likes hanging around in a group, but could also very much be like, a lone wolf and doesn't really he cares about the people but i get i don't the guy doesn't really think he um cares much about the company if that makes any sense yeah like it, it's not like he like he enjoys being around the people but it's not like he needs to be around people because he's like gonna be lonely or anything it's more of like a yeah, um, oh, yeah. i'm here now oh, my camera's not focusing um you know, I get that. Yeah. I have a follow-up so, to that, actually. I have a follow-up for that. Oh. Um, do you think that when, you know, this is all over and the party and Kai go their separate ways, do you think that Kai is going to walk away from this whole experience as, like, a, like grateful that it happened? Or is he going to be more of, like, a, thank fuck that's over? <laughs> I feel grateful, but I... He... Depending how things go, he might... Like, as of now. Say now, yeah. suddenly, fucking something happens, Kai has to go. He will be grateful, because he, he, was, he was able to show a little bit of a different side with the group that he didn't show to the crew or the captain. Mm -hmm. So I feel, I feel like he will be grateful just to get, like, a little bit more of... Kai has two sides. The fly, he's he's going side. to fly above a station after this is all done. But, uh, he has... After the war. <laughs> he, he has a, a little other side that comes out every now and then. And I feel like the group pulls it out a little bit. Dude, the way you said that just made me think of, like, <laughs> all those shitty, edgy, fucking teenager memes. You wouldn't like my dark side. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't... No. You can't, if you can't hang, you can't hang on my devil, you can't have it no. my angel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, carry on. No. Um... <laughs> well, and I, I don't know where you guys going, but it's not really that. But yeah, he, there, there is, there is. Um, well, it might come out depending what happens next session. There might, some things might come out a little bit. Um, Would you say that Kai is coming out of his shell? Oh, I was gonna say the same fucking thing. I hate you. Woo! Well, apparently, apparently, I got a very angry dart that he cannot. Get out of his shell. So I Not guess he will physically. be always be locked We're in the shell Aww. because he gets he gets locked by a random Dutch guy. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I really had to swallow that one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nice, nice, nice bit of fishing that oh she's just done there. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, take the bait, Dutch. So hmm. to answer the question, at the yes. moment grateful. Um, I also have like a far part. Um, okay, so this is. So, like, Kyle and Anderson have not had many conversations together, like, one-on-one. -on -one. And even, like, when group discussions are happening, they haven't. And, like, part of that is semi-intentional on Anderson's behalf. Because he's a bit, like, this is a sort of new person. He's been through a lot. He is not in a sociable mood. He is not in, like, this mood of, like, I want to get buddy-buddy with someone else that I'm going to have to care for now. And fucking hell, if I like this person... I don't want to fucking now have to go through that again of like maybe even losing someone because he has too much on his plate. But also it's Nike sort of accidental and circumstantial. Does, has Kai's like opinion on the Lazarin like changed throughout or is it still this sort of that initial reaction they had with each other, that, that initial interaction? Has that sort of like just cemented and now this sort of not talking to Kai, has that now made it so sort of like, oh, okay, this is who he is. Do you hate me now? That's basically what this question is. Uh, Kai, it is kind of that, like, does Kai think uh, that he is an hate, asshole? Oh, hate not for you. Really, really. no, uh, I, I think think stabbed the shit out of you. <laughs> well, I mean, if I feel Kai has gone through war, so a little step yeah, true. Really, really... true. No, I feel like... It's a shell, dude. Um... 
I think kind of like in the beginning, it's like, okay, is this how he might x straight goes to strangers like this? And now, after a little bit, I think he's like, ah, oh, you just a bit of a snobby bitch. So like, yes. Uh, yes. Through the switch. <laughs> True no. and factual, to be fair. The character works. He's done it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Oh yeah, no, I feel like, like he's just like us, oh, not not my kind, not my type of person to hang around. So that guy is also like, huh. I will so will will help in battle. Yes, we'll talk if there needs to be talk. Yes, if there's nothing to be said. Hmm. At least he apologized and for also... stabbing you, right? What's that? He said sorry for stabbing you. That's fair. That's nice. Yeah. Many because I'd say probably heal him later. Like some fucking job. Like fuck, will work for me. No. <laughs> What's great about that is it's such a dynamic that I like happens in real life is you can't be expected to get along with everyone, right? No, like, you can't be expected not. to like everyone. Like you can be amicable with everyone, like cool, we get along. We just don't get, you know, we just not friendly. We just like it's that person you you'll say hi to them and like good morning, but that's like your entire conversation. <laughs> it's like you're right, cool, and you sort of walk past them. You know, I love that dynamic as much as I also love you know having these deep bonds. I feel like that's almost as important characterization as characterization is like who are the people you don't socialize with and sort of yeah. expanding that circle and i as it's great to sort of have it reciprocated as well like kai is like he's not the type i'd hang out with you know like he yeah. is a, you know he's used to pirates and he's used to you know be like jacks the brooks and kess and it i lo i love it personally not in like a, I hate the guest or anything because obviously I'd love to RP fucking loads more and all that, but also <laughs> like no, it's it's a cool dynamic you don't get to explore often in a D and D group because it's sort of not expected, but it is sort of the way of role playing games is you are probably going to be getting along with your party for the sake of the narrative, and if yeah. you don't, you will probably make a new yeah. character who does get along with the party, right? Because if you make one that is just this sort of opposite force and you butt heads too much someone goes something has to give between like make sure like you gotta always make sure that the people at the table having fun are having fun and if your character being the way he is makes it so that mm. other people aren't having fun you need to change something exactly so seeing like, that you you can have that bond with another player character that's like respect each other we don't hate each other but there's no not much else there uh, and yeah. have it have it not impact the quality or the enjoyment of the players around the table. Well, it's, it's good. It's, it's not something yeah. you see often. As yeah. I say, it's one of those things where, like, obviously, if me and she ever had like a like had the problem, he went actually, I would like to have like RP the allows him more, and we sort of set that off table, being like, actually, you know, what the f you know, it's sort of a bit shitty that I'm not RPing with everyone. Then yeah, we can mm -hmm. make that change and we can make it happen, and it still be natural because fun enough with all right at the game to be able to make those changes and be natural about it mm -hmm. but then also mm -hmm. like we know we're comfortable enough with each other where if we do have problems that we can always go talk to that person first or talk to Dutch, like hey is something all right like you know let's bring my first thing something like that but like oh is everything okay oh shit what have i you know <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, i didn't want to do it like this way, way. But I've, I've gotten the from osg Kweba. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> he's saying to go. No. No, no, he, he he's saying I'm going to take his spot next week. <laughs> I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm I'm going to kill a Lanzarin and I become the new the, the yes. next Ethan. Yes. No. <laughs> I, I, I feel like all though because I I kind of played Kai in the beginning very next to the party, and I feel like especially the last session with checking in on. Jack's having a little talk with with Cass. He's trying. To, he's slowly figuring out some people. Where he's trying to have like some conversations with. He still lays back in the background for like big group talks. That's also what I like to do because when we were all the the, the whole discussion with uh, the Goliath guy, I was quiet because guys also are like I'm just here to help. So I will just listen, and unless there's something that I fully disagree on I will state uh, my voice other than that I'll just listen or not it's also a little bit how I am mm. um, but I also feel like it. because I feel like it is also uh, very much like okay if I can put him in and just see how people react to Kai because in the, in the first thing Alessandro was very much like basically just fuck off you big turtle fuck 
So then he's much, those guys. Yeah. Then, then guys also not going to be like, you know what? That's the guy I'm going to go go talk to first. Make no, he's just going to be like, him. who makes talks first with me? Like, Daigon, with the whole drinky and then then talk stuff. Where he was like, oh, she that's she a big deal. Reaches out. That was to insane. Me. Yeah, and then that you're the first person, like you're the first character in my group to hear Daigon talk. Yeah, that's, like kind of, that's kind of wild. That's a big yeah. deal. And, and not knowing it is a big deal. That yeah. makes it even, even, that, that makes that it even better. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes like that, God, you don't really think about it. What a random D100 rolling table for drinks can, can bring to your campaign, huh, guys? I don't think that one was random, right? Yeah, well, was... I guess that, I guess that like thing. No, didn't it? Wasn't it number 69? And that's the one I chose. Yeah, yeah, but like it was on a table. Yeah, if I, I would have know, chosen that list of drinks. But yeah, it was number 69, oh, yeah. funnily enough. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the greatest thing ever. Yeah. So but basically, a random table decides that Diane can actually talk. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, Kinda. at least can communicate yeah. with more than just sign language yeah. if she needs to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's fucking cool. random XD funny. Uh, do you lots have any questions for me? Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna... Ethan has some questions submitted for me, but uh, if you guys have anything you want to ask me. Um, I'm trying to think. So, like, so like this it's not a question. It's more of a of a. Of a... Not observation, but a cool sort of thing, dude. But like those brooches we got, nothing stro, nothing like gave me like fear. Nothing puts fear in me more than you saying, "Oh, it's a plus one boost to all your stats." Plus two. Because I'm like, why is this motherfucker boosting our stats up? Plus two. Or we bother. Plus two. Be, well, be, be plus one in the sense of like score. Oh right, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. You know, like a modifier, I should say, yeah. plus one modifier to all stats. It's like, what's this motherfucker got for us? That like that he has. Made it that the like almost the prerequisite to getting to this island is we need to be one modifier up. <laughs> was there I sh was there like a chance that we wouldn't have completed these things other than like you know TPKs happen in D and D? But like, was there a way that it, we could have like circumvented them, or was it always no. sort of like you will pass the trial? No, because uh, the way it's put in is like <clears throat> Deep Sashilas and Umberly don't really get along. Uh, people have tried to go for the island before, or have tried to like take the fight to her before, uh, and he has put them to the test every time, and more often than not, they failed. Which obviously, you being the core party of this campaign, I was, you know, you were going to succeed. There was no real way to circumvent it. Wherever you would have gone, the trials would have found you essentially because would your we goal was have so like on the big bird, for example. Mm -hmm. Could we have like hid below decks from it and it just dropped us off on the island? Would that have been like one of the Or would you have basically forced the fight? Um I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Well it no, was I was a... thinking I probably would have forced the fight because yeah. the whole reason for the bird being there was to fight you and test you. Yeah. Like so it would have probably Sounds... just torn off a piece of the fucking deck to reveal oh, you down below and, me... and you know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. something like it... that. That's cool. That, that's cool. It's it's one of those cool things. I get for obviously from like playing D D with you as a DM for a, a long time. I start like I start noticing things like, okay, he's giving us a little bit of a buffer because something fucking big's happening, boys. <laughs> or it's the is Dutch fucking with me <laughs> because he knows I'm gonna be thinking that. And he's like, I'm gonna make him nervous. I uh, I, I buff find you guys because I a I'm trying to find more ways to reward you with for for yeah. doing certain things instead of just oh here's a magic cool. item you know yeah I mean? but also cool. uh this buff being temporary um mm. yeah i mean there's there's mm -hmm. some fuck shit waiting for you and True. that plus one to your modifiers is gonna be mm. real nice yeah yeah but that, that also also makes makes sense right because it is yeah. like it is it is quite a thing that's happening so it would yeah. be weird if it is just gonna be like well you are, is it what, are we level five? You got your you level five. five you walk yeah, in yeah. and you walk out and uh, see it. That was easy. You're you're, it, you're in the room yeah. before the boss fight, yeah. and there's med packs, there's ammo, there's yeah, everything. That, you know what I mean? It's like, that like yeah. you know, yeah. <laughs> which I mean, as, as a as a RPG player, I love that shit. You know, um, and I pretty much love like ninety nine percent of what Dutch does. The only thing I hate is when he you know transports me away randomly because I'm the barbarian or stop dealing maybe... hundred plus damage in one turn, or maybe I will. Yeah. True. Or maybe I just get one tapped because I've got the big fucking dome up and he's like, but Fuck Yeah, you. okay, but that's the thing. You always, both last campaign and this campaign, you established yourself to be key to the combat, which just means that enemies with intelligence <laughs> over 14 are going to be like, wait a second. You know I know, I mean? but I love it. I'm not saying it's bad. 
joking when I hate Stop it. Stop putting yourself in that position. Because if I actually hate it, I would have fucking like DMG been like, hey, Dutch, I'm not having fun in combat because I'm getting fucked over. Well, I would just say to tell you, like, listen, man, you put yourself in that position. By <laughs> no, the I don't. the way you do. Like, I'm sorry, I bud. Know. I know. I'm not just going to not target the guy, the guy that has a 60 HP healing output just by existing every round or dealing damage, like an, an average of like 70 damage per turn every fucking round. Because his fucking feelings are hurt. Sorry, go play a fucking druid and do something else then, bitch. Bro. You know what I mean? Like, fucking hell. Bro. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Listen, dude. Got him, <laughs> got him boys! <laughs> got him! <laughs> I'm, not, like, I'm not saying I'm I targeting know. people I because I want I to know. make them feel bad, but if... If you... You know if, if I did comes to me, right? Because we're all close friends in the group, right? Yeah. So if one of you lot comes to me and it's like... After putting themselves in a position where they're always key yeah. to the combat, they either hurt like a fucking truck or they do insane heal outputs. Yeah. And they come to me, dude, stop targeting me in combat, man. It's really lame. Okay, stop healing, bitch. And you won't get targeted. Targeted. Yeah. True. Right? True. Like okay. any like like fights with people that aren't very smart, sure. Cause yeah. they they're dumb, right? They're they're just like, oh pff, yeah. ooga ooga, smash. But I hit as soon as you face hand. people that have an intelligence of like 14 or higher, that 14 intelligence, like translated to like normal smart. people, that's that's the university brainiacs. That they, uh, that's already like that level of, of smart. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, if they see this fuckhead being the center of this big purple fucking dome that seems to just kind of keep people alive, you're next. You're fucking I love next. Dude, I love it. This is the thing, is that the, 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 of this whole conversation, is that I fucking love that shit because it's fucking hilarious, right? <laughs> but like, the most important, like, one of the most important people, the only person in the party who can revive is the weakest, right? Like, yeah, your HP is, you, you've been sucking on your rolls, though, right? Pretty sure. I have rolled less than four every HP. What's roll. your hit dice? A D8. D8. So, I've been rest in half. So, yeah, rest so half every time. that's, 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 you've leveled up four times, so that's. Uh, five, four times eight, and uh, that's thirty-two HP that you could have got more, right? Am I saying that right? Yeah, yeah. I'm. A, I sit. I, I sit at twenty-nine currently. Yeah, that's. I could have. I could earn more HP than I currently. What's have. your constitution modifier? Like plus two or something stupid. Plus one. Let me have a look. Just make sure to reduce it by one because of your uh, your buff. If, if, yeah, if that's already yeah, out on yeah. the sheet, but yeah, I have. Bro, don't even worry. I did that the fucking second time. I'm like done. <laughs> I think it'd be plus one. Yeah, plus one. So plus like one. with this, with so this you combo, started right? at nine, nine HP at first level, mm -hmm. and you now have twenty nine. Yeah, well, thirty four because of the buff, but yeah, yeah so twenty nine oh, it would have been right. My rolled HP is twenty four. Twenty four in four level ups. Twenty four. That's an uh, average yeah. of a six. Technically, because I think Wait, I rolled. No, no, I may no. have rolled one. Wouldn't eight. that be twenty four because you start with max rolled HP at first level? At eight, yeah. So minus so eight. So you've rolled so. sixteen in four level ups. So that's four. Yeah. Bro, that's four. So, that's four. So you've you've rolled yeah. So you've rolled it's sixteen average. in four levels. Below average. That's insane. That is so <laughs> shit. That is so shit. <laughs> but, but I love it because like oh my it god, almost it, the way that it feeds into the character of Larson so well because he is a coward. It makes sense why he's cowardly because he knows he's not hard and he knows he rock, goes down the rock easily. One shot you. The rock almost did. It did twenty five. Yeah, right. fucking hell. It did twenty five, and I. Sheesh. The look on my face. I was like, "Thank fuck, I rolled nine on that temp HP dice." That is like, what's great is this fucking my temp HP almost gives me half my health your temp <laughs> if HP, I roll your, max. Like, the Lazarus temp HP isn't temporary. It's, it's just, just it's, it's just, just helpful. It's, it's just, just it's just his it's just as helpful, really. Like name name something more likely to happen than a Lazarin popping dome on the first turn of a big fight. He might pop aura vitality, but even then he doesn't do that anymore because every time he's used aura vitality, he dropped concentration gets dropped next like within the within a turn mm. before he can even use it once. I fucking hate this happens three times. <laughs> that like. I've just rolled shit. It's not even been like I did a lot of damage. I think I had a con save of like a concentration check of 10 to do and I got like a natural one. I was like, fucking really? <laughs> it's like, fuck's sake, I got stabbed lightly. Uh, Ethan had a couple questions for me. Uh, how does oh, Vera oh. feel about the group and their chaotic behavior, especially Kai's involvement? 
she fucking thought it was hilarious that Kai like joined in on the fucking antics. Like she even had a little little talk with Kai. I mean, like, yeah, it's it pretty fucking funny. Uh, but overall, I mean, she's a dickhead. She, as long as the group does what she orders them to do, at times of like, oh, there's a fucking ship coming, we need to fight. You know, she's fine. You know, she's fine with the with the downtime banter. It's like she doesn't really give a shit. As long as you don't break yeah. the fucking ship. On top of that, what is like? How does she like? Like her and Lazen Halsey had that conversation, she had a conversation with everyone. Mm -hmm. How does she like actually feel about this? I was like, kind of bunk enough, <laughs> doing kind of fuck all, <laughs> and occasionally healing. <laughs> I'm not going to, because that's something that will come up. So, oh shit! <laughs> shit the bed. <laughs> Suddenly, I've got a more important role in the ship. It means I can't bunk off anymore, guys. <laughs> Break. Uh, I'm in the break. There's a second question that Ethan asked, but I'm just not going to answer that because what the fuck spoilers? Uh, are the shipwreck survivors hiding something, or is the part just paranoid? It's, I'm not going to fucking tell you. They are oh, hiding yeah. something. They're hiding the fact that they all hate Brooks, and by hiding the fact, they're not hiding that at all. Fucking <laughs> fuck around and find out. I'm not going to fucking tell you whether or not there's potentially secrets. Is there an X <laughs> in the sand that we all just stepped over? Maybe, dude. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. The bet. I want to find a fucking map and then X on it. It's just like two pieces it's away. It's gonna be like, like a oh. big ass X, and then you're just gonna be just digging and digging and digging. You're like, there's nothing here. And then the camera pans out to just see that it's just a big tic tac toe field. I'm <laughs> 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 just like, why is there a circle here? Doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> yeah. Aliens? Aliens? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. How Jax gets off of his whole, I can't believe God's a real thing, is he just fucking starts believing heavily in, like, UFOs. Dude, oh, I'm sad that Soko couldn't be here. Yeah, no, right? But, uh, because uh, him and Vera had, like, a real good, like, one-on-one, -on -one, and... Mm. Like, Jax revealed, like, details about his backstory that the party has no idea about. To Vera, it's which is... Jax is part God. <gasps> which is obviously because, obviously, him and Vera go way back, right? So, like, there's that level of thrust already. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, he basically like told he basically told her like, um, oh, here's what I've been up to after we shipwrecked, and you know, some fuck shit happens because it's a D and D character. But obviously, it's some mm -hmm. fuck shit. Uh, to the point where Vera was like, "Oh fuck, I'm sorry." <laughs> like she was like, "Oh like, shit, dude." <laughs> and Vera is very much a character that's like always finds a way to just be like, "Haha, XD funny," but yeah, I was just. Jack's fucking trauma dump, dude. <laughs> it's kind of nuts. Who would ever trauma dump that D and D character? <laughs> Who would do that? So, I, uh, oh god, I would. I, I'm, I'm, I'm. It's good. Th there's so much like stuff to Jax's backstory that none of you have any fucking idea about. That I'm just like, oh, dude, I can't fucking wait, bro. Can't wait. Can't wait. Good. Um. I have a little shit. question. Yes. I have a little question for you. Go on. Because I sent you a DM. On Sunday, like yo, can we do this? Wait, yeah, with the with the prank. Oh yes, yes, so yes like yes, oh, yes. this is what we gonna do. What was your initial thought? Like oh fuck, we're gonna get this kind of bullshit, or no, like oh, I, th I was just like fuck, that's funny. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just kind of like oh fuck. Well, I'm just gonna kind of assume that Kai is not gonna be there when they wake up. I'm just gonna assume that you know. OSG will play along because there was no real organization I, there. I, you know what I mean? I, I, I almost fucked it up. <laughs> you did? I was like, why wouldn't I? Oh, wait. Yes, no, he's not there. Nope. <laughs> you when you said that, Dildo. nothing like. You know when you're there, like, oh, it didn't really hit. And then it sort of like crept in because you said about like messaging something to Bell. And I was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. And then the fucking other shit happened. I was like, I was like, yes, bitch. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've uh, we've been out the running with this campaign, so like, I, I struggled a lot last session. I, I, I struggled with uh, getting back into it because it's been so long. Uh, mm. Because we, we, we missed a week, we did the fucking anniversary, and I'm pretty sure the week before that, we also missed. Maybe. Uh, yeah, we've been missing quite a few weeks yeah. recently. So yeah, I got been, it. I was like, happened? dude, and I felt so shit after the session was done. I was like, dude, this was, this sucked. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's really? me being yeah, a fucking okay. asshole to myself. But um, next few sessions, like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be uh, it's you're gonna be in like a dungeon. So there's gonna be some dungeon delving, but you know, you got you got a fucking, you're already in the like. The, it's a dungeon delve, but differently because you start like slap bang in the middle of the dungeon. You know what I mean? You're already like in the belly Ooh. of the beast. 
because you're going to be in prison or whatever the fuck. Um, it's a prison escape. Oh. Partially, yeah, but it's going to be... <sighs> it's going to be good. It's going to be fucking good. It's going to be... I'm going to try my best. Uh, that's one thing I want to improve as, as a DM is like, I want to get better at like setting the scene. Mm. You know what I mean? Like describing things. I get and that. Something I want to improve it's, at. So I'm it's, gonna... what, it's the using all the senses, right? That's like the... Yeah, exactly. DM top tip is what, what does it smell like? What does it feel like? Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. So I, I want to try I, and uh, get better at that. Yeah, I know when I was... Uh, I have to get back to it. When I was doing some writing, I was like, I have one writer that does a whole lot. There's not a normal sentence in, in, in the books he writes. It is all... They are all like fucking paragraphs describing things. And I, I live for that shit. The more... Words you can use to describe things the more it comes to life. Which... Yeah, right. And because we're all theater of minding, I I, I feel like I yeah. need to do better at giving 100%, you a hundred percent. Read a little bit of Brandon Sanson, and you will get like a feel for like <laughs> even like literally just like read like, the prologue of one of his books, and then you'll that's him like scene setting. It's fucking insane what he can do in like three pages. And it's like, what the <laughs> yeah, fuck? fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, I want to get better at that, and I feel like being in a dungeon in, like, a lair that's worshipping Umberly, it's, it's, like, I, it's a, I want to try my best to kind of give you guys oh, a little more. Can't wait to ask for any religious iconography. Yeah, it's crazy how every answer is going to be, yeah, Umberly. <laughs> <laughs> One time, you're going to be like, no, not Umberly. Vecna. <laughs> no, just says Joaquin. What? You look at your own one. Fuck. <laughs> no. Rolls that one. Yeah, you see in the reflection of the pool a symbol of Joaquin and realize it's <laughs> your own coin. You're looking at your coin. <laughs> you idiot. Oh, if you do that to me, Dutch, I'm going to slap you. Nope. You said it now, it's going to happen. Oh. Um, yeah, so the next session is going to be fucking sick. And I don't have any questions anymore. So unless you guys have any questions, I'll leave off with uh, the teaser. Oh. Ooh, um, is that even though Umberly is um, a, 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 a an ocean slash sea based evil goddess, uh, and she has followers that worship her along the lines of you know an undead pirate champion, or or these like fish like people, you'll come to some surprising discoveries about who exactly in the world worship her or or uh, what's the word uh maybe maybe admire is a really good a good way of putting it hey boyfriend there's there's more to umberly's followers than just fish folk and pirates you bastard and with that uh we'll catch each other on sunday for the next session of uh, Dungeon Select Campaign 2, Elements of Keldar! Woohoo! Dab! That's us. Thanks for watching, everybody. OSG, Koibs, thanks for being here. I almost forgot hey, that it was Thursday today, but like I, re hey, I realized like 10 minutes, like 20 past 7, I was like, wait, it's Thursday today. Fuck. Um, so, you know, we're here. We did it. You know, good shit. And uh, we'll catch you guys Sunday for uh, the next sesh. Peace out, y'all. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Du -du -du -dum. Bom, bom, bom. You gone? Bom, bom, bom. Bom, bom, bom. Du -du 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 -dum. And now slowly, like, fade out. It's just like... Bom, bom.